All right, so after I made that video, I realized a few things I wanted to add on slash revise. So we're talking about consciousness here, okay? Now, what is consciousness? If we are all our own Earth, might be inaccurate. I think I've been blurring the higher self chakra and the aura chakra around the individual. And I've been getting that mixed up with my dimensions. Sorry, guys. But here, I'm going to put it all out right now. So, what are you? You are a soul in the flesh, which has seven chakras. Okay? Then you have your higher self. So, what is that? That's a seven and a one and a one. That's just like, what, 7-11 or is that a triple seven? Depending on if you're thinking cellular math, okay? Now, after your higher self, you have an aura chakra, okay? Now, this is very interesting because think of it this way. Your soul in the flesh and your higher self, okay? So right here... If this is a zero or a dot or singularity, because your spark comes from somewhere, seven plus one is eight. Eight plus one for your aura is nine. Now we're gonna talk about ninth dimensional consciousness. Ninth dimensional consciousness or ninth dimensional beings. You know, like the higher self videos, they talk a lot about the Octurian council or ninth dimensional council. All that means is that they understand the n, the n plus one, and the n plus two, okay? Your flesh, your higher self, and your aura. Now here's, think of this for a second. The concept of oneness. You know, like this new age stuff that everyone's like, that's not Jesus enough. That wasn't in a book. It's not Christian enough. I've already fucking debunked religion, okay? Religion is just a mathematical story, okay? That's all it is. It's a very masterful creation designed to enslave your mind because it it makes you wait for a savior but he, i'm gonna ruin it for you you are your own savior okay i am not a savior okay i am the decoder okay because austin lee meredith and shelaine amber graves are the makeup of our dna and rna that we share as a collective now imagine this if this is your aura and it's around two feet on every person. Imagine if everyone operated in the same frequency of truth. You know, the more light you bring into your universe, the more better things can happen. So imagine if critical mass or the entire planet started to operate with this knowledge, we would become literally one because our auras would merge into one aura. The way I think about this, so like, let's say like your aura, say your higher self, okay? Your higher self is unique to you, okay? And I think the aura realm is where our higher selves like to chill and meet and play and, you know, interact with other people's higher selves, okay? Now again, we are living in a free energy machine created, a free energy device created by Austin Lee Meredith and Sheelan Amber Grace because it is a part of our DNA and RNA. Now, the funny part of it is that Austin Lee Meredith only derives to the C, one of four, whereas the Sheelan Amber Grace turns into the GAT, you know, a 13. You know that really unlucky number that's not anywhere in the mathematical eight by eight cell of creation. You know, it only goes like 13, 1376, which is a 13. And there are 13 ones that make the M. And M is the 13th letter of your alphabet. Hmm. So, get this. When we become one, you know, we're ruled by the cube of Saturn, okay? It's your soul in the flesh with your higher self and your auras. And when everyone starts to operate in truth, I think it's all going to merge into a new one. Armageddon consciousness and everything's going to be good and jolly. Because that's going to save our asses, okay? Evolution, that's what I think evolution is. Evolution of man's consciousness is based on light. The amount of light 
that enters their universe and their ability to decode the most of the spectrum that they can. Quality of the input reflects the quality of the output in all things. So, there's your ninth dimension, okay? You got your singularity, which is zero. You got your flesh, which has seven chakras. You have your higher self and your aura, okay? The next ones after that, there are three others. There's one in your solar system, one in your galaxy, one in your universe. Okay, another trinity. Uh, I see a lot of... 3, 7, and 9 code, Lord of the Rings code, because those are your three chakras off in the distance. Then you have your soul and your flesh, and that's your seven, you know? Your seven chakras in your flesh, three, seven, three rings to the elves, seven rings to the dwarves. Where's your nine? Okay? Singularity, your flesh with seven chakras, your higher self, and your aura. 7 and 2, 7, 1, 1, again, 7, 11, 9, Ninth Dimensional Octarian Council of Retardedness. Okay, guys, it's all coming together. So, I think my connection to all this Austin Lee Meredith stuff was, you know, like, I could have named my children anything. Now, I think of it this way. The religions, I don't care which religion, but I'm going to pick on Christianity for a second, okay? You are a soul in the flesh. That's already been established, okay? You, let's just say this is you, okay? You on ball earth, spinning gravity ball, Newton, Copernicus, Galileo, Einstein, okay? And your savior is Jesus Christ and his fly girl, Mary Magdalene, okay? There is no, like he knows his father, you know? He always says that. Who is that? Never mention any names. Let's just go with Austin Lee Meredith and Sheila and Amber Graves. Why don't you? You know, because it only has something to do with your DNA and RNA that we all share. You know, different variations of it. So, you are waiting for a savior to connect to his father. <laughs> no. You are your own savior. Okay? You are your own savior. I can only help you see that. Okay? And once we all start seeing this, okay, there's not going to be any other derivations, okay, of the secret people that created a frangery device in your th system. I think that was inaccurate earlier, okay? In Earth, in our cell of Earth, okay, the N, you have the N plus 1, N plus 2. Let's say that's where who knows how many people live there or how many consciousnesses or souls live in that reality. It's a shell game or something. Now, one of those people... Austin Lee Meredith and Sheila Amber Graves created a free energy device, and that is where our oneness is connected, okay? All 7.6 or 7.8 billion of us, okay? We are all connected as that one. All of our souls, okay? Think about us. We have parents. Our parents are unique. Our genealogy is unique to all of us because man is unique. It's unclassifiable. That's why I don't like government cards and IDs or anything to do with governing the mental. Now, your parents, okay, gave birth to you on a certain day in Earth, okay, and the soul that went into your flesh is based on the celestial sky. Now, all I think about is when I look at that mag the, the magnets, okay, let's say your X, Y, Z depiction of the rings. Okay, there's 90, uh, yeah, 96 magnets there. 32, 32, 32. Anyways, the 96 magnets there, if you subtract 88 from them, what do you get? Eight. Okay? So... That's, this is where I got my math wrong earlier. So your 90, sorry, 96, ma 96 magnets of your X, Y, and Z, subtract the 88 fixed rotating constellations is 8, okay? The 8, I don't know, other luminaries after the four corners of the Earth were created. Now that means Pluto, Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, what's after Uranus? the universes and the nebula and everything not the stars okay because on day four the first thing to be created were the all the lights in the sky i take that as all the other things that are not stars or planets or clusters of stars which make up a constellation 
your four corners of the earth to create your two plus two always makes a five because it makes a one-dimensional line in there which again is important for the shape of the icosahedron now if an icosahedron has 12 nodes and we have four already accounted for okay that leaves eight those are the eight the 96 minus the 88 is eight okay and i'm guessing that those would have to be uh, a great light to rule the day, Jupiter, a great light to rule the night, Saturn, the stars, which would mean it takes up a spot because I think that's where the whole frame of reference comes in or point of view because we are all on different parts of the earth, okay? But that one magnet, which is the stars, and how it interacts with the 88 other magnets in the grouping of 96 magnets, the way the light bends from this point of view or point of reference to the other groups of stars. You know, like, I don't know how many stars are in every constellation. Okay, Cancer has like four, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, so Cancer would be four magnets somewhere in that X, Y, and Z ring of 32, 32, 32 from one particular magnet. Do you, do you see what I'm trying to say here? So, again, Jupiter, Saturn, stars, then you have uh, uh, Mars, su Sun. It's v Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. Nine. Oh, I say eight. That's eight. Yeah, sorry. How did I? Oh yeah, I, I crunched it. I was like, how come the four, How come the fifth pillar wasn't rising? So again, like, that's a seven. That's an eight. But you try to make an eight without having the fifth pillar rise. You got that retarded finger that's attached to that one. You know, little finger, the Satan character, <laughs> the one closest to singularity, God. You know, the soul of the spark of life. So. Once we understand who our mother and father are of creation and understand that there is no savior going to save you and do any work for you. You're your own savior. You this is your experience. This is your realm. Okay, so so think of it this way. We are all we all have a higher self, okay? The higher self is a chakra that like is a couple inches above your crown chakra or something, okay? Now your higher self we all have one and our higher selves are working hard to get our lower selves. You know, like uh, you have high class and low class or the, the low caste system or the, the high borns and the low borns in George R.R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones. So the low borns, okay, are being educated by the people in the know, but I guess they can't, I don't know what rules exist where they can't just come out and tell us the truth. I don't know, maybe because the deception game was going so good and the world is so enslaved and it would literally break fucking everything if everyone knew what I knew. If everyone had a taste of my consciousness, right? And that's what I want. I want to spread to everyone. I want everyone to start thinking critically and start... I don't know, like, maybe proving my work and with numbers, you know? Like, you can start... You start with a blank page and put a dot on it. And then you start looking at that dot, and it becomes the 69. And then you have to understand that the truth in the 9 quadrant is equal to the bullshit, the bullshit, and the bullshit, the capital P, the lowercase b, and the lowercase d. Well, upside down, backwards, and flipped. And start thinking, and see if you can see what I see. And then if you, you get very, very, very... Like what I am. I'm very passionate about my work. Maybe I just don't have a great social skill network. I know I don't have the social network because I don't like social media. Yeah, I use YouTube because I have to get it out here somehow. Okay, so like bare bones, we live in cellular earth. It is a free energy device 
created by one Austin Lee Meredith and Sheila Ann Amber Graves in an N plus two reality from our own. It doesn't mean anything good or bad, okay? It just means, this is my thought. It is what it is. I have a lot of evidence to suggest that these things are a big part of why you are who you are and how the New Age philosophies relate very closely to what I'm trying to say numerically.